Anyways, I'm ready to go in. <laughs> okay. Hello, everyone, and good morning. Good morning. How are you? It is 9 a.m. on Wednesday, March 18th, 2020. Exactly. We are in Italy. It's a beautiful in place Bologna. to be in, in Bologna. Um, kind of sunny. Yeah, I have the, the shades down because I feel a little <laughs> uncomfortable with like the neighbors seeing me like teaching all day. So I kind of bring them down. <laughs> Although, and then I put this extra light in the back here, so. That's nice. But That's nice. yeah, so for anyone just tuning in, this is a webinar. We are Mayas, and exactly. we're happy to be here for these 50 minutes with you. Uh, maybe we'll do a little introduction. I'm Monique from Los Angeles, and I love strawberries. <laughs> I'm Alex from England, and I love apples. Do you? Green or red? Mm, red if they're standalone green for cooking. Nice. I like green. I prefer green, actually. You prefer green. So why don't we start with some stretching? What do you think? Yes, please. Okay. We please, invite everyone please. as well to join. So Let's maybe, stretch. How about I'll lead a stretch and then you lead a stretch, okay? Okay. Okay, so I'd say raise your arms up and extend. Maybe. All the way. All the way up. Oh my God. Okay. Oh, oh that was good. That's nice. Yeah. That was nice. Okay, now take your arms and stretch horizontal out. Okay. Like, oh my God. <coughs> All the way back. That's great. We invite also the neighbors and friends, whoever would like exactly. to love ones. Oh, oh, and then you see my English back. school really well. <laughs> yeah, but okay. for me, it, it, it's too cold in my flat. Yeah, you mentioned that. So now, with their shoulders, right? So our shoulders are here. Raise up your shoulders, make them very tense, and then relax them. So we'll do that five times. So okay. one. Breathe in. Breathe out. Two. Breathe in. Breathe out. Three, breathe in, breathe out, four, breathe in, breathe out, five, last one, breathe in, breathe out. Okay, and shake it out, shake it out. Because we carry a lot of tension here in our neck yeah, and our do. shoulders. So. We really, really do. Okay, your go. Okay, um, we're also going to stretch our fingers a little. Okay. So take them out and try and stretch them like this. Okay. All the way out and bring them back in. Do that, okay. And out again. And in again. Just because we use our fingers a lot, especially now. Absolutely. Fingers and screen, huh? Yeah. I'm trying to do less screen time when possible. Uh, it's I started difficult. a new book this morning. Yeah? I, yeah? And out like that one more time. Okay. Okay, I like that. And one. you can like stretch them out just a little like that. Okay. Just pushing nice. back. Cool. Sticking okay. with the hands, so let's move our wrists a bit. Yeah, exactly. Poor wrists. <laughs> exactly, so true. And then this, pushing out that way. Okay. Take a deep breath too. Okay, the other hand. Oh, that feels good. It does, huh? Okay, deep breath. Okay, one more time, same thing. Okay, deep breath in. Now, okay, last time, in and out. Okay, and shake that out too. Fantastic. All right. Okay, that's, that's some stretching. Yeah, it's a nice morning. way to start the day. Now we're going mm -hmm. to make some coffee. No, I'm joking. Exactly. 
Actually, now we're going to watch Jess's video and make some tea. <laughs> I thought it was very interesting. I didn't realize that first you put the bag in and then you add the water. Is that how you um, make it? No. Ooh. <laughs> but, <laughs> and everyone has a different different way of doing it. Is it different in, in um, Devon? I think it's from person to person, like family to family. Mm -hmm. I love it's, all, it's always different, yeah. No, Do you tea prefer coffee or tea? Um, tea. Yeah, me too. I like coffee as well, but it's it's different. It's more of a morning kind of thing to warm you up a little as well. Mm. I think tea is a little bit more relaxed, Yeah, a little bit more... Not civilized necessarily, but a little bit more. More herby. Yeah. <laughs> Coffee is always, uh, I always feel that it's a little bit quick. Yeah, or, I agree. I don't know. And I have friends that make herbal tea, like they prepare the actual like flowers and leaves. So it makes me really oh, wow. happy to drink it. Yeah, because I feel like I'm drinking something that grew on their land, you know? That's real nice. It's really nice, yeah. But I'm running out, so a little no. bit sad because, yeah. I mean, I get it from the Campi Aperti, the farmers market here in Bologna, yeah. and there's no. Is it open? No, no. Ah, exactly. So. Mm. Shrug. Is that another shrug. stretch? That's another stretch. <laughs> a shrug is stretch. <laughs> okay, so today we are talking all about transportation. Yes. Transportation. Transportation, but very useful. We want to ask just a standard question in the chat with, um, where are you from? And do you like strawberries? Exactly. Do you know that strawberries are the only fruit that have their seeds on the outside? The only one? From what I understand, yeah, isn't that cool? That is cool. Is there a reason? Um, That's Mother really Nature. cool. <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> let me ask her one second. Now let me get her on WhatsApp. And <laughs> I'm not sure why. That's really cool. That's I did cool. not know that. Yeah. Um, think so how many seeds? They do have a lot of seeds. You're right. I so you love strawberries. I love strawberries. And you? I love them too, especially summertime in England with some clotted cream. Which is um, what? What is clotted cream? It's um between like if you think of cream and butter, mm -hmm. it's in the middle. So it, it it's very very thick butter. Um, not butter, cream. <laughs> <laughs> Do you miss clotted cream? Clotted cream? Yes, I miss it so much. Can you find um, it in Bologna? No, really? you, can't, you can't find it. No, not nowhere. Even. Do any of our English colleagues have clotted cream? No, no one has really? it. it I, <laughs> I don't know if it exists in other countries. It does in England. Um, in Italy, it doesn't. It's 54. 4% fat or something. So I can imagine why it doesn't exist in Italy. <laughs> but Interesting. it's really good. Really, really good. I don't know if I've ever tried clotted cream. I have eaten walnut whips, though. Oh, wow. My grandmother loved walnut whips. Walnut whips. I don't know what that is. They're like an, an English walnut sweet. Let me see. I'll find walnut whips um i'll find it too it's a squirrel spurl um oh wow with vanilla inside yeah oh wow no i've never eaten those yeah that's wild you know my grandmother was born and raised really in the east end of london really yeah, so there were a few things, and she kept her there. English accent until she died, and she lived to 100. 
Wow. Wow. She was cool. She was very wow, short. Wow, wow. Grandma <laughs> Debbie, amazing. Grandma Debbie was amazing. And she's an East Ender. Well, I mean, she she left London uh -huh. when, like, I think she was 16. Yeah, but that, that's East died. Ender enough. Well, yeah, her mom died. Her dad remarried, like, a wicked uh, lady who Step treated mom. her poorly. So she's she went to, Blackpool, again. went to Blackpool and then boarded mm. a ship to Canada on her own. Oh, wow. first she worked one summer in Blackpool. And what is the, in Blackpool, there's the rock candy. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. Anyways, and then she went to Canada, spent one winter there, made friends with someone who lent her her U.S. passport to go into the U.S. Oh, no, maybe lent her you her just Canadian passport. And then she mailed it back to her friend. And so I'm on the train, kidding. she didn't say anything because she has a very, she had, she always had a very strong English accent. So to not be suspect, she was, didn't say anything on the train, got to New York, knocked on her brother's door. We're talking like 1920, knocked on her brother's door. His name was, I think, Solly. Hi, Solly. And lived in New York where my mom was born. No and way. To Los Angeles and my grandmother followed. So she lived right in the heart of Hollywood for like 50 years. <laughs> she was so that is wild. Yeah, That's Grandma Debbie. She would play bingo all the time. She was so fun. Wow. What a yeah. story. She would make salmon cutlets. That is. That's yeah. that's that's fantastic. That's the end of the stream now. That's the, that's the <laughs> So thank you everyone for being with us. Oh my god. That's cool. It's cool. Really tenacious. Yeah. So that's how I know walnut whips. But I do not know clotted cream. She never mentioned clotted cream. Clotted cream is really really, really something. Yeah. If I ever have the opportunity, I'll bring some back, but it's it's difficult to bring back because it's fresh as well. Mm -hmm. So I'll I'll try and work on it. We we found something that was maybe a substitute here, but not, and I can't remember what it is. Like <laughs> I think it's or something. Not. I think it was more like the um, sour cream kind of mm -hmm. sort of, but it's it. I'll try and find it again and then and let you know. Oh, you okay. But you wouldn't put it in the. Um... You wouldn't put it in your famous Cornish pasties, right? No way. Okay. <laughs> That's yeah. a sweet, it's, it's for scones. Scones, of course. Scones. Another thing you can't find here, I imagine, right? No, you can't. I can make them at the risk of making those as well. Wow, are you a fan of scones? I love scones. Um, I never really got into the world of scones. I because I've never spent much time in the UK. I've been there a, f a few times, but maybe for one week. You know, I've never spent an extended period of time there. I'm down for that. Chinese should... scones too. <laughs> we'll see. Gonna, I'm, I'm gonna... going to spend all the time in my kitchen cooking, cooking exactly. scones. Cooking exactly. Cornish pasty, well, baking Cornish pasties. We'll Fantastic. see. Fantastic. Fantastic. <laughs> so shall okay. we dive into transportation? Yes, definitely. So today we're talking all about transportation. Mm -hmm. um, yes. Maybe repeat the words a few times as well, because right. transportation. Right, so trans means to go across, right? Port exactly. is like, well, a port as a noun is a place where ships go, but to exactly. transport something is to bring something from one place to another. And exactly. I makes it a noun. So, for example, I brought my keys. Nice. For transportation, this is my bicycle key which I haven't used Fantastic. for a week. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's true. My bike lock. <laughs> and it's a kryptonite. 
So transportation, yeah. So it's important to realize that if we have T I O N, the T I becomes a sh sound. So sh, not T on, but transporte shun shun. Good point. So like elation or sedation or <laughs> yeah transportation <laughs> can you think of other words with shun um, um uh, now, now that i'm on the spot no what about um dilation no uh, yeah dilation when you dilate your pupils of your eyes crystallization uh, Good one, yeah. <laughs> Manipulation. Manipulation. <laughs> yeah, if anyone viewing would like to also add words with shun. Um, exactly. Is derivation. <laughs> no? Yeah, yeah. Condemnation. <laughs> yeah, condemnation as well. Yeah, nation. Nation nation uh sedation creation. creation good one um real nice so just remember if you see t-i-o-n it's shun so transportation transportation transportation, yeah, transportation. Exactly. do you want to repeat that five times monique i would love to transportation 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 can you Fantastic. also say it five times? Yeah, of course. Um, remember, if it's difficult to say quickly, do it slow. It's not a race. Um, we can do it very, very slow. So I'm going to do it slowly. Mm -hmm. Transportation. 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 Nicely okay. done. Yeah, so Slow. four syllables too. So, oh, it's a lot. Right, when it's difficult to say a word, it's helpful to break it down. So yeah. Trans, poor, te, sh. Fantastic. Yeah. Even if you find one section difficult, so let's say I I find shun difficult. Don't repeat transporte. Just shun, shun, shun. Shun, 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 shun. It sounds like psycho to me. Shun, shun, shun. I also brought my ball, my baseball, by the way. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Awesome. I need a cricket ball, don't I? You do. I have a cricket ball at home in England. I have never seen a cricket ball. I'll have to, I'll have to get one. That should be in every Englishman's home, right? I guess so, yeah. But this is not a real baseball. It's a it's a squishy, uh -huh. like one of those stress balls. Oh, nice. It's a little hard That's to nice. use at school, though, that I use ba those soft decathlon tennis balls. Tennis balls. This could hurt someone. <laughs> so. Okay. So today we are looking at transportation vocabulary, verbs, and can and can't. Or as I would say, can and can't. <laughs> you say can yeah. and can't. Yeah, I say can't. Um, it sounds very pretty. Can and can't. can't. Um, in the I north can't. of England, they do say can't. Really? Like, uh, like you, yeah. Oh, how interesting. Like Manchester, Leicester. Yeah. Carlisle. I'm not sure. Leicester, check with Emily, but. Uh -huh. I don't think so, but the the further north you go, the more open the A becomes. So oh, interesting. Can't. Yeah. No, I can't. I can't go there. If I yeah, try to do my can't. shoddy English accent, then I, I can't <laughs> tell you. I can't. I wouldn't. You go go for Hugh Grant. I guess. I don't know. Yeah, yes, exactly. <laughs> or is so, it Grant or Grant? Mm. I would say Grant. And you? <laughs> grunt. Grunt. You grunt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> almost. Almost. So this interesting car. Yeah. Car. Let's car. Car. 
<laughs> what color is that car? It's not hot pink. Not quite. It's like a nice purple. It's sort of lilac. Yeah, pinkish purple or purplish pink with yeah. yellow flames. Exactly. Do you like quite. that car? Not the paint job. <laughs> I don't like the colors. They're a little bit too old, too, mm -hmm. too strong. They're very strong. I mean, I like it, for example, in Los Angeles, it would be nice because then you can find your car. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Yeah. That's true. In England, in the countryside, um, it would look very, <laughs> very bad. <laughs> <laughs> Just green everywhere. Right. The sea as well, some cows, sheep, and then and boom. The CW bug. Yeah. Oof, oof, oof. Okay. So, Monique, can you read the vocabulary? Indeed, I can. So, types of transportation we have car, train, bus, motorbike bicycle and on foot right um we can think of different words that rhyme what does rhyme mean to rhyme very difficult word to spell what is yeah. to rhyme to rhyme does a word rhyme with rhyme time rhyme time rhyme, rhyme. Yeah. Lime, rhyme. Lime. 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 Good one. So when learning English and learning new vocabulary, it's very useful to rhyme. It's useful to find other words that have the same sound, the same phonetics. So, for example, the first one, car, bar, far, mar, star. Fantastic. Thank All of you those. Very much. Yeah. Let's write those up as well. So we've got a nice example. So there was car, far, mm, mar, star, ma, star, star, okay. star, bar, far, bar and far, mm -hmm. bar. Fantastic. Car, yeah. far, ma, star, bar. Yeah. Would you like to um, do the next one? Yeah, so we have maybe train, rain, <laughs> pain, and sane. They're all a bit strange, these ones. Interesting. Train, so train. sane, which is spelled S-A-N-E, and train, T-R-A-I-N, and yet they have the same sound, right? Yeah. The, the beauty of English, of the English language. <laughs> the, right? the beauty. <laughs> yeah. Are we doing four or five words that rhyme? Um, whatever you like, really. Okay. So I'll do the next one. Bus. Bus. Fuss. Puss. And um, sus. Oh, nice. Yeah. Sus, does that have one or two S's? I would say two, but again, I don't know. Right. It looks like one, actually. One. I looked it up, yeah. Let to me correct that. Out the situation. Cuss, two S's. Fuss, two S's. Sus, one S. Bus, fuss. Cuss, sus. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Sus, yeah. Cuss, we don't use in England at all. Really? No. Interesting. What do you say? Swear. Mm -hmm. Swear in the US is more, I swear to God to tell the truth and nothing but the truth. So we, we, we have the same, I guess. So we do use that swear for, for that as well. Mm -hmm. I guess you could say promise too, but um, mm -hmm. yeah. 
swear has two meanings, I guess, in English. Yeah, it's interesting. Strange. Um, I'm doing motorbike, <laughs> or maybe bike. Right. Uh, bike, trike, like, psych. What is psych? Is that because I think there's two psychs. Is it? One is psyche, right? But that's not what. Yeah, you exactly. Another one is psych. When I'm not sure in the UK if you do this, but if I yeah. joking psych. with you, psych, psych. That, is that the that with bike. How is that, that spelled as well? That's a good question. Psych. I know it's it's the same spelling. Okay, that's cool. But you can see the spellings are. <laughs> but some people write it S I K E. Exactly. Psych. Yeah, that's Psych. very interesting. Good vocabulary. I like it. Psych. Okay, so mine now is bicycle, <laughs> which tricycle. I might also shorten it. Yeah, tricycle. I might also and monocycle, but I might shorten <laughs> it to bike. Yeah, definitely. So bicycle shortened bike. And now I have the same one as you. So bike, <laughs> trike, like, psych. Ta da. Exactly. Ta da. Shall I so, do the next one, perhaps? <laughs> yeah, it's important to note that um, motorbike and bicycle can both be contracted to bike, mm -hmm. um, regardless. So. It's usually from context you understand if I say I'm going, I guess not really, but you know if someone has a motorbike or a bike, bicycle. In the US, oh, yeah. I think we say more motorcycle. Oh, really? Yeah, motorcycle. Mm -hmm. More than motorbike. I would think actually of an electric bike. What is a motorbike? More, more yeah. motorcycle. Because okay. in the US, we don't really have a, or at least in Los Angeles, where I'm from, there's not really a culture of small motorbikes or scooters or mopeds. Sure. We, sure. The city's enormous. So you have motorcycles like, I don't know, 500cc Harley Davidson. Yeah, things exactly. Like that. And then you have bicycles. There's exactly. not really something in between. So. That makes sense, though. You've got very, very big spaces, very big cities. Yeah, deserts. And so, straight roads. Exactly. So shall I do on foot? Yeah, please on do. Foot. So good morning, morning Lisa. Lisa. Nice to see you. We're having morning, a very morning. nice focus here about transportation and we are rhyming. So we invite exactly. you as well, if you'd like to rhyme, we are at on foot, which we're short exactly. to foot. Um, <laughs> I shall try here. Foot, uh -huh. put. Yep. Um, soot. Soot, good one. And one last one. Uh, uh, that was difficult. It is difficult. Um, uh, not, 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 no, put, uh, what? It's interesting, huh? That so was difficult. Three foot, put, soot. That one is difficult. Foot. Put, sit. I mean, we could say nut, nut. No, no, nut. Nut. <laughs> in in some of the north northern England accents, I think you can get away with it. Nut. Nut. Alex, can you read through the transportation vocab one more time? Of course. So we've got a car, a train, a bus a motorbike, a bicycle or bike, or on foot. Lovely. So I have a quiz now for you. 
What city is this bus pass from? Definitely not Florence. What city? It should be from Bologna. It is Bologna. Let's see another one. What city is this subway pass cut from? Um, Berlin. Subway? No, it's in the um, United States. Oh, cool. It's oh, it's in Spanish as well. Uh, it's LA where doesn't my have brother lives. Lives. New York. Yes. This is from New York. Interesting though, it's called a Metro card, but you talk oh. about, so it's called a Metro card. Mm -hmm. In New York, you ride the subway. Right. But when you live in New York, in New York City, you call it the train. Wow. So if you think of the Duke Ellington song, take the A train. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's talking about the subway. No way. Yeah, so it's if you live there, you call it the train. And Thank is it you, a train? That, that's wild. No, it's, it's a subway. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's like a subway train. So let's see wow. here. Yeah, interesting. No, here we have another. This is another bus pass. Any I idea? Think I'm gonna, let's full screen okay. this. Any idea what city this is from? Uh, Bergamo. No. <laughs> Ah, uh, no, it says Padova. Yes, this is from Padova. And I hope it's still valid. I think so. Here we go, <laughs> another one, another. This is for the bus and the and the subway or the metro. So uh, it has to be Paris, right? Yes, Paris, exactly. Nice. Here we have another one from the country your mom is from. Is it Madrid? No. Valencia. There we go, Valencia. And from Valencia, I also have this beautiful. Bus card. Okay, last but not least, where is this bus pass from? Naples. Exactly. All right. Well done. <laughs> really good. That's really yeah. nice, Monique. Thank you very much. That's. I used to have a collection, but I don't know where it's gone. <laughs> That's it's, so you know, if Hopefully we use these before they expire, right? Yeah, exactly. This morning I, I threw away one of these Metro cards that had expired. No. This one is valid until July. So Fantastic. Yeah, if you can get over there. <laughs> exactly. In time. Okay, so um, what is A, Monique? Not the A train this time. Yeah, not the A train. Well, I would call it a motorcycle, but uh -huh. from the vocabulary list, I would say motorbike. Nice. So motorcycle or motorbike. Mm -hmm. Great. And B, Alex? B looks like German BMW car. Yeah. Car? How do you say it? Car. Well, we say it similar. Car, car. There's one cool thing about American and British is um, American is a rhotic language. So it has the r. In mm. British English, we just don't write the r. So it's, we don't pronounce it, sorry. So we say car. There's no r, it's just car. If you think of like a, a bird, car, car. Car, car, car. Whereas Americans, they do car. So and they have is, the rhotic. What is rhotic? Is is that American? I'll write it for you in um, the oh, private great. chat. And so um, is, is that? Oh, I see. Of is this r r sound? How interesting! Exactly. So American is rhotic. And would you say Irish is rhotic? Far more into your car, car. Mm, I guess. Hmm. I, I don't know. I'm not an Irish speaker. <laughs> right. But right. I would say so. American is definitely rhotic. British you know, English is not. You know, Spanish in Costa Rica also uses this type of R. Oh, really? Yeah. It's very interesting. Oh. Yeah. Anyways, let's move forward to C. So C is not a motorbike because there no. is no motor. 
No, you use <laughs> your, your legs to pedal, right? Exactly. And your legs. So that would be a bicycle or a bike. Fantastic. Or a bike. Great. And D is a very colorful, I guess. Yes. Train. That one's a train. Yeah, train. E is a very interesting picture of a giant person. <laughs> Or it's the perspective from down below. Mm -hmm. I would say it's not a bus because a no. human is not a bus. So it is on foot. On foot, exactly. Right, you one foot, two feet. Generally, you walk with two feet. However, <laughs> yep. we say on foot. Exactly. Exactly. And then F obviously is a bus yes it looks like an italian bus as well it does yeah maybe okay. a bolognian bus maybe who knows we need to analyze the the arches behind oh that's right <laughs> okay so <clears throat> this is the question monique how do you go to work or school i guess it's the same thing for us <laughs> Oh, have you frozen? Yeah, you have. Um, I go to work by bicycle, by bicycle. Um, and I go to school. When I was at university, I went to school on foot. And when I went to secondary school, I went to school by car because my mum um, worked at the school. Um, what else did I do? So let's go on this. So you can see we have I go by. So by is the preposition. for transports. <laughs> hey, Monique. Hello again. I saw that the modem literally turned off on its own. I can see it from here. <laughs> I don't know if the phone company, Tim, just did like a massive reset Maybe. in my region, area, but- It had enough. That was so I went on to my personal hotspot. So uh, sorry to you, but I'm back. No worries. Quick thinking on your part. Thank you. So Alex, how do you go to work or to school? So I go to work by bike, by bicycle. Um, how do you go to work? Also go to work by bicycle, by bike. And my bike's name is <laughs> Celeste. Wow. I have a blue bike and the color is wow. like Celeste, like sky blue. Exactly. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah. When did you I name love, it? I named it when I got it. Fantastic. Yeah, I love going to work by bike. It's so nice. It's not possible in Los Angeles where I'm from. It's so yeah. nice. Is it it's possible really nice. in um, King Kerswell? Uh, yes, Kingswell, but King's Kerswell. King Kerswell, King's Kerswell. If, you, if you like. King um, Kerswell. Yes, it's possible, but you have to be very um, fit. You have to be very um, physical because there's a lot of hills. Oh, really? So it's up and down, up and down, up and down. Interesting. Like in Rome yeah. also, there are, well, in Rome, there are seven hills, no? Right. <laughs> and, and it's difficult on bicycle. When I lived in Rome, I rode a scooter, a Honda oh, wow. SH125. I wow. loved it. It was green. But yeah. before riding a scooter, I rode a bicycle in Rome, and it was very difficult. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's demanding. Hills are, hills are not nice. No, hills are hills. 
<laughs> exactly. Hills are hills. Hills are so, hills. <laughs> we've already asked, I've asked you about how you get to work, how you go mm -hmm. to work. So I'm going to repeat it, but in the third person. Great. So in the first person or even second person, it's I go by, you go by. But if we have he, she, it, so. Um, so she, for example, uh -huh. she goes to work by motorbike. Fantastic. For example, Lisa goes to work by motorbike. Exactly. Perhaps. I don't think <laughs> so. Possibly. I don't think. I think her husband has a motorbike. And they How cool. go. I think they go on a motorbike together if I'm not wrong. Wow. How romantic. But I don't think Lisa rides it. I, I don't uh -huh. think she drives it. She doesn't control it. She doesn't it. use it. Uh -huh. Exactly. Nice. So, how about this person? So he goes to work by car. Exactly. We, he does go. He goes to work yeah. by car. So by like a, for the preposition. Exactly. We have he, I imagine, because it's got the, the crossbar here. Mm -hmm. He goes to work by bike. Mm -hmm. By an old bike. An old black bike. Yeah. Yeah. Really cool. How about okay, this? Okay, let's say she goes to work by train. A very old train. It looks Russian. In to Siberia. Me. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Siberia. Maybe Georgia. You know, I heard in Georgia, in uh -huh. Tbilisi, I was watching Al Jazeera before we met up. They are sprinkling holy water on the population of Tbilisi oh, wow. to protect from the coronavirus. Wow. Yeah. I wonder if that works. <laughs> Maybe. Who knows at this point, Tonight. right? We, it's a mystery. Whatever it takes to stay, <laughs> to stay you know, healthy. serene and healthy. Yeah. 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 Nice stretching again. I think I'm going to do more stretching after. <laughs> after. I'm going to eat a green apple after. <laughs> I love green that sounds, apples. That sounds good too. Hello, Hello Jim Jo. How are you? Hello, Jim Jo. Welcome. Hi, I go. Yes. You go by? by so what? we say, how do you go to work? How do you go to school? So I go by bicycle. Alex? I go to work by bicycle as well. When it rains or snows, I go to work by bus. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, when it rains or snow, I go to work by bike. <laughs> really? Yeah, I've got no, a big coat, a big raincoat. Nice. But it's no, miserable. when it snows, uh, yeah. So I go to work by. Shall we continue with uh, yeah. the third person looking at this photo? So she goes to work by foot. She does. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> by train, <laughs> almost. <laughs> exactly. So, yeah. Okay, let's see the next one. All right, so we have a bus, maybe in Bologna, maybe, I don't know what city, I don't know. but so let's say he goes to work by bus. Exactly. So Jim Joe, we are happy you are fun. Very good. Very, very Feel good. Feel free to say whatever you would like, you can ask us questions or say hello or exactly. whatever you would like. Where, what city are you in? Yeah. I am in Bologna. Alex, what city are you in? I'm in Bologna too. Hmm. Beautiful Everyone. city. Lovely city. Hmm. Yeah. Very, very manageable city. <laughs> yes. 
Okay. Um, do you want to do can just to finish? I would love to. So let's do can. Monique, can you fly? Yes, I can. <laughs> Woo! Can you fly? <laughs> For about five seconds before hitting the ground. <laughs> really? No, I can't fly. No, exactly. No, unfortunately, I can't fly. Alex, can you cook? I can cook. I can cook. Can you cook? Yes, I can cook, but not very well. <laughs> <laughs> There's always time. <laughs> there is time. Can you, let's see, can you uh, speak, uh, can you speak um, Arabic? No, I can't speak Arabic. Can you speak Arabic? No, I can't speak Arabic. Um, can you speak um, Bolognese? I can speak Bolognese. <laughs> Just a little. Wow, fantastic. I can't speak Bolognese. Just a little. Um, lots of insults. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very good. <laughs> but also a little bit more generic. Um, uh -huh. Can you speak French? I can speak French. Can right. you speak Spanish? I can speak Spanish. Lovely. I can, I can. Um, can you play guitar? Yes, I can. Can you play drums? Yes, I can. <laughs> Yoo-hoo! Jim <laughs> Joe, can you speak? Spanish? Yeah, let's write that up. Can you yeah. speak Spanish? I love Spanish. It is a beautiful language. It is a beautiful language. Yeah. It's very close, though, in comparison. Oh, he says, yeah. Wow. You can That's speak Spanish. Fantastic. I yeah, can. I can. Fantastic. fantastic. Jim, Joe. Jim Joe, can you speak Japanese? <laughs> Alex, can you speak Japanese? Um, sumimasen, no. <laughs> no. Sumimasen. Uh, sorry. I have sorry, studied I a can't. little bit of basic Japanese. Very cool. And I cool. love languages, so. So me too, I love Japanese, maybe. You need an oh. object. Okay. Very cool. Me too. Okay. No. Okay. I don't speak Japanese. Okay. Exactly. No. Yeah. I don't speak Japanese. Mm -hmm. It's important to have an object. So, and a subject. No, I subject. I don't speak Japanese. Object in Japanese. Yeah. So, for example, I speak English and Fantastic. I speak. Spanish. And you, Alex? I speak English and Spanish, um, less now, and Italian. Nice. And Ginger, what do you speak? Yeah. I see so, you speak Spanish. Yeah, I speak English, Spanish, and Italian. I speak a little bit of Argentinian. <laughs> oh, very cool. <laughs> Very cool. The video very, very I sent cool. you, Alex, is from an Argentinian uh, yeah. YouTuber about the film Parasite. I'm going to watch it now, I think. After, oh, after really? I'm done with the webinars, yeah. Fantastic. So, Jim Joe, I can speak Italian. Fantastic. Hey, you can yeah. speak English as well, a little English. Yes. Yeah. Which is, is very good. Good. And you can speak Spanish too. Yeah, nice. and Spanish, Excellent. fantastic. Fantastic, good. I'm trying in Swedish. Ja Swedish, do you speak Swedish? Oh. Ja talar lite svenska. What is I, that? I speak a little Swedish. Wow, Swedish. and I can say in Japanese, watashi 
skoki, skoshi. Um, what is the verb for to speak? Waka, no, wakarimas is understand. Uh -huh. um, uh, nomimas to drink. Uh, <laughs> uh, hanashi? Maybe it's hanashimas. Maybe hanashimas. <laughs> maybe. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Unfortunately, we have to stop now. We've, this is true. Yeah, it's our 50 oh. minutes. Thank you, Jim Jo, for coming at the end. Thank you, Jim Jo. Yes, thank you, Lisa, also. Thank it has you, been Lisa, very too. nice doing this webinar. Just a reminder, you can... Hello, Maria Rosario, we are just finishing. A exactly. reminder, you can go on Facebook and see SOS Mayas. And there's a Facebook group if you have any questions about English that's open 24 hours a day. So on Facebook, Mayas SOS. Exactly. And little English, good. Okay, so In thank you everyone. Have 10 minutes, there will day. be another webinar. Okay. Yes. Okay, bye goodbye bye. everyone. Goodbye, Alex. Goodbye. <laughs> bye, thank Monique. You. Bye.